resistance of the electric power P in watts in a direct current circuit with two resistors, R sub 1 and R sub 2, connected in series is given by this formula. Okay, we have three variables. However, uh, and it tells us that V is the voltage, it says the voltage and R1 are held constant. So, what that means is uh, this and this are constants. R2 is our only variable. So, um, we've got to figure out which resistance, what resistance R sub 2 produces the maximum power. Okay, we want to produce the maximum power. So, maximum, anytime we see the word maximum, we should think derivative, equal to zero, find our critical numbers, check things out. So, let's take the derivative. So, P prime, this is a uh, quotient rule, but it, it's really not all bad. Okay, so low D high, okay, on the top, R2 is the only variable. So the derivative of R2 is just the constant in front of it. V times R sub 1 minus high times the derivative, bless you, times the derivative of the bottom. So that's a chain rule. The exponent, you keep the inside the same, times the derivative of the inside. R sub 1 is a constant, so its derivative is 0. R sub 2 is our variable, so its derivative is 1. All over the bottom squared, so that would make that to the 4. Now, that top looks really nasty, so let's see if we can kind of clean things up a little bit. What I see is that we've got this R sub 1 plus R sub 2 shows up in both of our terms. What else also shows up in both of our terms? We've got V in both, and we've got R sub 1 in both. So let's factor out that stuff as a GCF. Okay, so V R sub 1 and then R sub 1 plus R sub 2 is our GCF. So what are we left with? Uh, we've got an R sub 1 plus R sub 2 because that was squared in that first term. So we still have one of those left. I'm going to drop the parentheses because I'm going to end up probably combining like terms. <clears throat> and then the only thing we have left from the second one is uh, minus 2 R sub 2. Uh, and then we've got the bottom, R sub 1 plus R sub 2 to the 4. Okay, so maximum, derivative equal to 0, it's a quotient, so we've got to consider the top equal to 0 and the bottom equal to 0. The top is a product right now, so remember, we set each piece equal to 0. Well, V and R sub 1 are constants. Those aren't going to equal 0. R sub 1 plus R sub 2 is equal to 0. That says R sub 1 is equal to negative R sub 2. Resistors never have negative value, so that doesn't give us anything. And then our other piece, we get R sub 1 minus R sub 2 when we combine those like terms. So that says R sub 1 equals R sub 2. So that's something. Okay, that could be a critical number. And then if we set the denominator equal to zero, um, the same thing's going to happen as that other piece right there. We're going to get that R sub 1 is equal to negative R sub 2, which again doesn't mean anything. Okay, So that means our critical number is when our resistors uh, have the same value. And we're not given an interval. So we don't have anything to check. Um, so our critical number would have to be the answer to the question. Okay. So max power when R sub 1 is equal to R sub 2. Down here? Okay, so uh, that thing, because our derivative is quotient, we've got to consider what the derivative is equal to zero. It's to the fourth, so it's equal to quotient. Quotient is zero, it's still zero. 
resistance. Electricity is always positive stuff. And imaginary numbers. Just FYI. Okay? Alright, so what I want you to do is